Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of The Spear. I'm Taylor Lupetti. And I'm Andrew Talamantes. Sparta men's soccer made it to the finals of the WAC tournament, but were unable to defeat number one seed Seattle University. Gabe Ruiz has a recap of the entire tournament. San Jose State men's soccer team competed in the Western Athletic Conference tournament this past weekend. The Spartans' first match of the tournament was a game against the University of Texas as they were able to beat them 2-0. Freshman Max Allen was able to bag himself two assists this game as he provided Finley Wood and Zach Penner with their first goals of the tournament. Zach Penner would score the second goal of the match just 20 minutes later following a Max Allen free kick. Penner's header was his third goal of the season and moved him up to San Jose State's second top goal scorer. The two-goal lead was held throughout the game as the Vaqueros were unable to convert any of their opportunities, allowing the Spartans to carry on in the tournament. San Jose State faced off against Air Force for the semifinal match and were able to defeat the Falcons 1-0. The Spartans took the lead after Jeremy Romero notched a floating header into the back of the net, providing the Spartans with a lead that would remain throughout the match. Keeper David Heredia and the back line managed to keep the Spartans' tournament dreams alive as they finished with another clean sheet. Unfortunately for the Spartans, all of this would change in the final match against Seattle University. The first goal of the game came from a Nathan Ani header after he scored off of a corner kick in the 36th minute. Following the goal, it was quite clear to see that the first goal of the game increased tension and after the Red Hawk goal scorer was taken down, a fight broke out amongst the players. The fight changed the momentum of the game and forced both teams to play with 10 men. San Jose State's Omar Lemus and Seattle senior defender Ozzy Ramos were sent off for getting involved and adding to the fight. After the fight, the momentum of the game completely changed and Seattle took control of the match. Seattle's second goal of the match came in the 75th minute after Alex Roldan was able to convert Sergio Rivas' cross. Roldan's goal was the sixth of his season and later on proved to be the game winner. The only lifeline for SJSU came in the final minutes of the match after Nathan Ani converted an own goal off of a cross from Carlos Valdivinos. The own goal wouldn't be enough as Seattle held on for the remainder of the game and became victorious, winning the tournament. Men's basketball split their weekend matchups against Antelope Valley and San Diego. Jose Trujillo has the highlights. Men's opened up the regular season at home against Antelope Valley. Kicking things off in the first quarter, center Umar Berry with a nice lay-in. Here comes Isaiah Nichols, count it, and one. Really nice drive and finish. Nice passing by the Spartans, finds wide open Noel Bauman who nails the three. On the Nichols miss, Wellage with the rebound and the putback. He lit up Antelope Valley all night. More passing, finds another open Spartan. This time, it's the senior Jalen James for three. Look at the unselfishness. And freshman Caleb Simmons making moves, driving hard for two. The Spartans assisted on 30 of 34 made field goals. Wellage finished with a game-high 30 points. The final from the event center, San Jose State 97, Antelope Valley 45. What do athletes like to wear when they're not playing? Janae Memes finds out. Um, for student athletes and how to identify them, I usually see a couple of uh, boys and girls, they have backpacks with their numbers on them. Some of them have either jackets or t-shirts that label them like the sport they have, like lacrosse or uh, basketball and football. Uh, most of the times I usually wear football sweatpants uh, and then a football shirt, so usually I'll take down football gear. Uh, well, I'm pretty like casual, so I'll wear anything basketball related. They give us a whole bunch of like shirts and uh, like baggy stuff, really. Um, but the backpack, like you said, it gives us a backpack. I'm always rocking some SJSU gear. They would, they'd be wearing something from whatever team they're on. So if they're, they're probably wearing a jacket that says football, basketball. They probably, I know the school gives their athletes backpacks with like their number and stuff on it. So that's how I identify them. Nine days out of 10, I'm in shorts and my San Jose State sweater. Uh, most of the times you can pretty much tell the sport because it's branded right on their chest. Uh, but other times there's certain shirts that all the sports get, and so you kind of guess and, or pick and choose what sport they're in based on how they look or how muscular they are. Mohamed Bafaki recently went around campus to see what students think about night football games. Let's take a look to see what our fellow Spartans had to say. I'm probably not going to go to any of the games. I don't know that many people that do go. And San Jose State has been getting pretty wiped out this season, so it's kind of a depressing thing to go see.
thankful for uh, one of the uh, drivers of the buses. Um, she's been waiting out here patiently as no uh, students have really been showing up to watch San Jose State take on a really good San Diego State football team. And uh, as you can see, it's empty. Um, driver, how long have you been waiting here before uh, with students not boarding any? Since 4.30. And no students have boarded on your bus? Five only. Five only have boarded the bus. Why do we have multiple buses here if there's barely any students? I'm not sure. And do, do you do this on a game day basis or is it the first time? And this what are your, is my first time. What are your thoughts on the lack of people filling up your buses heading to the game? Uh, I feel sad. I feel bad because ain't nobody watching the game. To each his own, man. To each his own. It It's what you make of it. It's like, I can have a good time by myself. I can have a good time with my friends. It's just, it's just generally what you make of it. And that's all we have for this week's edition of The Spear. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at The Spear SJSU. Have a great week.